Good morning and happy Monday. It is Mindset Monday. I'm driving, so I have to pay attention. It is Mindset Monday. I am Valerie Lynn, the organized servant, and I'm here to bring you a little bit of information that can help you shift your mindset for the day and hopefully for the week. So good morning. Thanks for joining. I would love a share. That would be super sonic appreciated. I love the hearts as well. So again, I'm Valerie Lynn. I'm the organized servant, hoping to have others be an organized servant as well. We all have a gift and we need to use it to serve the Lord and one another. So love, love, as I say, love God, love people. I'm going to say today, um, as I've titled my talk today, we are called to love the unlovable, even if it kills us. And it just might. Uh, a pastor said that at my church one time. We were talking about being called to love someone that's unlovable. And you have someone that crosses your path. And you think, oh, I, I, can't, I can't handle them. And he said, you need to love them. Even if it kills you. And he said, and it just might. And I was like, wow, isn't that the truth? Absolutely. Love God, love people. So I say this today on my Mindset Monday because... The people that we have to deal with, sometimes we don't have a choice. You know, if we're working with someone or if it's a family member or a close friend, we're not going to stop loving them, but sometimes they can be difficult to like, but we still have to love them. And everything happens for a reason and we cross each other's path for a reason. So if you remember that, that can help you kind of go into a difficult scenario or difficult relationship with a different mindset. Um, there's something we can learn from each other, even in the most difficult relationships or the difficult circumstances. There's something to learn. Uh, recently, I had someone that does a service for me, and she started to become not very good at it, and I complained discreetly to someone over her, and I said, I don't know what's going on here. She's not doing a good job and she's extremely unpleasant and very disconnected which is not normal for that particular service industry so the person said well you could have someone else take care of what you need and I was like okay yeah because I've tried two times I'm just not happy well I woke up the next day I'm like mm, you know what I need to have a different mindset and dealing with this person so not only did I have her provide that service to me again I requested her and have ever since and she shines in that service in the most unbelievable way and you know what because I connected with her person to person I mean it's a personal professional relationship but human to human I connected with her and she has provided the best service in that service ever and you know hopefully I give her something that she can pay forward in the same way so I believed, you know, she crossed my path for a reason, just like I, cro I crossed hers for a reason. And the person that she works for was so excited and so thankful. And what an impact on her, on the business, on the business owner, and on me. And on whoever she's going to pay that joy forward to. So that's the whole thing is really sharing joy. And I think probably the secret there is not letting someone squash it. Because I'll tell you, the devil runs rampant. So you literally have to say, no, I don't think so, devil. Later. This is my happy moment. You're not having an ounce of it. So I hope that helps you go forward in your day and in your week to shift your mindset. To think about who you don't want to deal with. Face it head on. Bring them the joy. Sometimes people don't have joy. They need to use some of yours. The same way with the calling. If you're not doing your calling, your light's not shining yet. And you may have to use someone else's light until you can see your way. So that's my whole message. Love, love. Love God. Love people. Be an organized servant. Get yourself organized. Your heart, your mind, your attitude, your life. Your home, your office, your family, your relationships, everything. Get yourself organized and serve the way you are called to. So, I hope that helps you. Happy Monday again. This is my weekly Monday, Mindset Monday, 10 a.m. Periscope offering. 
I, again, am Valerie Lynn. I'm the organized servant, hoping to help others be an organized servant as well. My blog is organizedservant.com. Go check out some blog posts if you would, please. And if something resonates with you, maybe it can help you shift your mindset today and for your week. And if that is of value to you, if you would share it with a friend, family, or colleague, that would be awesome. So thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. Thanks for the replay watchers. Thank you for the hearts. And thank you for sharing. And I hope it's a wonderful, wonderful day and week. I will be back on Friday, if not before, but definitely on Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern for Go Organize Today. You got it. So have a great day. Have a great week. Be blessed. Bye.